Hello and welcome to our lesson on writing small numbers in standard form. When we write numbers in standard form, we have a number multiplied by 10 to the power of another number. And this value must be greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. So we have 0 0.6. We can write 0 0.6 as 6 multiplied by 0 0.1. And 0 0.1 is 1 tenth. So we have 6 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 1. So 0 0.6 in standard form is 6 times 10 to the power of negative 1. The so question B, we have 0 0.04. And we can write this as 4 multiplied by 0 0.01. And this is 100th, so we have 4 multiplied by 100th, which is 4 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 2. The 2 value here refers to the two zeros in the 100th. The negative power refers to the 1 divided by 100. So we have 0 0.04 is 4 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 2. For question C, we have 0 0.0015. We write this as 1.5 multiplied by 0 0.001, which we can write as 1.5 times 1 thousandth. So we have 1.5 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Again, the 3 refers to the 3 zeros here, and the negative power refers to the 1 divided by 1000. So 0 0.0015 can be written as 1.5 times 10 to the power of negative 3. For question D, we have 0 0.104, which we can write as 1.04 times 0 0.1, 1.04 times 1 tenth. In standard form, this is 1.04 times 10 to the power of negative 1. And for question E, we have 0 0.0077, which we can write as 7.7 .7 times 0 0.001 and again this is 1000th so we have 7.7 .7 times 10 to the power of negative 3 okay let's try some more questions so do you want to try and match the ordinary and standard forms together by pardon a video and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, we have 0 0.17, which can be written as 1.7 times 0 0.1. So 1.7 times 10 to the power of negative 1. So this matches with this. Next, we have 0 0.017, which we can write as 1.7 times 0 0.01, which is 1.7 times 100. So 1.7 times 10 to the power of negative 2. So this one would match with this one. Next, we have 0 0.0017, which is 1.7 times 0 0.001, so 1.7 times 10 to the power of negative 3. So this card matches with this card. And next, we have 0 0.00017 which is 1.7 multiplied by one tenth of a thousandth. 
So 1.7 times 10 to the power of negative 4. So this one matches with this one. And for our final number, we have 17 over 1 million. We can divide both by 10. So we have 1.7 over 100,000, which is 1.7 times 10 to the power of negative 5. So this one matches with this one. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.